How to use Google Sheets data on Canva. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. I will show you step by step how we can achieve this. Now I do have this example spreadsheet. Um, and basically we're just going to be using this or any data really from our Google Sheets to Canva. And I will show you how to do so. It's actually very simple and easy to do. We just want to get a specific item and use it on Canva. And then they're just going to give us the option. So uh, what we need to do is just go ahead and click on create a design. And I'm just going to create a um, custom size here. Let's just go for this one for the sake of this video. But you know, you can actually create it on any size that you want. It does not really make a difference. Now, if you already have a design, it's also going to work the same way. It's just, you know, going to be, um, you just want to make it work. And I will show you exactly what I'm trying to say here. So if we just go to elements here, and if we just um, scroll down, so basically you just go to elements and scroll down to almost the bottom. Now it may be different for you, but you want to locate the charts option. So once you actually see the charts option, you want to click on see all. And then here you have plenty of charts to choose from. Uh, there is a lot of charts. So just go ahead and select uh, whichever one that you actually want and think is going to work best for you. Um, uh, let's just go ahead and find a specific one. Let's just go ahead and select this one for the sake of this video. But obviously, you, we would want to search for one that actually is going to work best for you. Anyway, so I'm just going to select this one. And once it is actually selected, as you can see, we can actually, you know, make it bigger, smaller. It doesn't really matter. It does not really matter here. Uh, we can just play around with it as we want. But here at the bottom left, we can actually see uh, add data and we have the option to add from Google Sheets. So we can just go and click on Google Sheets. And then this is just going to open up our Google where we would want to sign in to the same account that has this uh, sheets data that we actually want to use. Now, I'm not sure this is actually going to work with the chart that I have because, you know, the data and stuff, but hopefully it is going to actually work. And then here you would want to basically uh, select the sheet that you want to upload. So I'm just going to search for example. Oh, sorry about that. You actually want to allow that. OK, let's just do that again one more time. So let's just go ahead and give them permission. It did take a little bit of time, I believe, to show up. This is why it was lagging. But now that we have this done, we can actually see all the sheets that we have from our Google Sheets. You would want to just click on the uh, sheet that you want to upload the data to from, I mean. And then here you can just go ahead and set up the data stuff. All the all they actually need here with labels and all of those things. Uh, and if you want to also set up the color by, uh, you know, each each. Uh, sort of chart is going to have different options but you we want to basically just go ahead and set it up to your best and then it's just going to basically have that you would want to add your values and all those things now this is going to be a little bit complex here because i'm not really going to try to apply this you know data on this type of chart it's just an example and just showing you how to actually do so uh, you would want to select the values that you want to use and all those things and the color by and all those things to make them work properly. So now, once that's pretty much done, you have your data all in one place from Google Sheets. So hopefully you found this video to be helpful. And thanks for watching.